So there are four sacred months, and these were the months in which fighting was prohibited, in which all forms of battle was prohibited, even to the pre-Islamic Arabs. And so you look at the names, the uh, Qa'da, which means the month to sit, uh, means that you sit back, you do not fight, you do not engage in any type of warfare. The Hijjah is the month in which Hajj is, so uh, there used to be, of course, an iteration of the Hajj in the pre-Islamic days. There is Muharram, which means forbidden, it's the beginning of the year, so it's forbidden. And then there's the month of Rajab, which is the only month that is not in succession, that does not come in succession. And Rajab means to remove and refrain. So you would remove your weapons and you'd refrain from fighting uh, somewhere in the middle of the year. And these months all contain very special rulings and special things. You know, you finish Ramadan and then after Ramadan, you've got the six days in which you fast uh, in Shawwal. And then immediately coming after that, you end up with Dhul Qa'dah. And in Dhul Qa'dah, you immediately have a sacred month to prepare yourself for Hajj, for Dhul Hijjah, for the month of Hajj, in which there are virtues in the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah, there's the day of Arafah, and so much. So you're still on a spiritual high after Ramadan, and you're able to capitalize on that with the six days of Shawwal, and then going into Dhul Hijjah, you're able to capitalize on the best 10 days of the year. And then right after Dhul Hijjah, you have Muharram, which is the best month to fast outside of Ramadan, so you can increase your fasting. And so the way that these months are bunched up you go out of the Islamic year or you finish the Islamic year strong and then you're able to start the Islamic year strong and you're able to maintain that spiritual high. So what happens in these months or what's to be taken into consideration at a practical level outside of the specified virtues of those months and outside of the, um, you know, outside of, outside of war and battle and things that are not applicable to us today? Well, for one, good deeds are more uh, acceptable or are, are more beneficial, more blessed in these days. So Allah multiplies the rewards of good deeds in these months. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also, because it's a sacred month, or these are sacred months, the sins are also amplified or they're worse in these days. And this is uh, according to a saying of Al Hafid ibn Rajab, may Allah be pleased with him. He said, Ihdarul ma'asi fa'annaha tahrimul maghfira fi mawasim al rahma. He said that be careful of the acts of disobedience because verily they forbid forgiveness in these seasons of mercy. It's just like if you commit a sin, it's bad enough, but if you commit a sin in prayer, it makes it worse. So when Allah gives you a season of mercy, a season of forgiveness, then you need to capitalize on that. Make sure you don't do anything that's going to deprive you of the blessings of those rewards in those months. Finally, when it comes to these sacred months, the Hijjah is the most sacred of the sacred months as a month as a whole. And we know that because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in a hadith narrated from Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him. He said that no doubt your blood, your property, your honor are more sacred to one another as the sanctity of this day of yours, كَحُرْمَةِ شَهْرِكُمْ هَذَا as sacred as this month of yours, as sacred as this place of yours, which is Mecca. So the Prophet ﷺ was saying, the most sacred day in the most sacred month, which is the Hijjah, in the most sacred place, which is Al-Masjid Al-Haram, which is the sanctified place. And so it's important to memorize the Islamic calendar. There is no deed better in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or more greatly rewarded than a good deed that is done in the first 10 days of the Hijjah. And they asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wala al-jihadu fi sabidillah, not even striving in the path of God. He said, wala al-jihadu fi sabidillah, not even striving in the path of Allah, unless someone goes, goes out with themselves and with their wealth and they don't come back with anything of it. Now, let's in this situation, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying that the good deeds of these 10 days surpass the good deeds done in any other 10 days of the year. So this is another interpretation of the hadith or another benefit that the scholars extracted from it. They said that the Prophet ﷺ is saying any good deed done in these 10 days is better than a good deed done in any other 10 days uh, of the year. And this is similar to the...